nice gloves. I wish I and welcome back, guys. Yeah. So we're going to be playing some more Fable 3 well, here. Well, I've waited a long time trying to get it to turn daytime, and it's not turning daytime anytime well, soon, apparently. So we're just going to continue powering through with the quest. And hopefully, it becomes daytime, and I can actually go to the shops and buy stuff that I actually need. My Anyways, friend. make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the support button. Let's play some Fable. If you're not too busy, you might have a look in the sanctuary shop. I believe something new has been added. You're back! Did you find the thief? Did you recover the stuff? You found it? Oh, I can barely contain my tears. Oh, excuse me, Your Majesty. I, I can't. With the fatidic attack not far away now, it is most encouraging to see the treasury doing so well. It makes one feel safer. I have taken to sleeping beneath the gold, actually. As for today's first order of business, you may have heard about the dire situation the kingdom's economy finds itself in. Logan's policies always kept our cities on the edge of bankruptcy, and the panic caused by the fast-approaching darkness has only exacerbated the situation. I'm afraid the only way to stop this slide into ruin is to bail out Bowerstone's financial institutions. The you are such a giving, magnanimous person. Very well, I will make the arrangements. Life will be easier for your subjects for a while, but the treasury will not easily recover. I only hope we haven't thrown away our chances of survival. Of course, you could always replenish our gold supplies by donating from your personal funds. Shall we proceed with today's agenda? Kaelin, the representative for the Auroran people, has requested an audience with you. The court awaits in the throne room. No matter what we're to do, we're gonna always be in debt here, so... Ah, hello! <sighs> Decisions. I either donate 500,000 to stabilize counting, what we just spent. And I could always wait until endgame to, just doing a bit like... What I can do is I can wait until after we finish the game, the uh, storyline, to rebuild this and kind of show what happens when you get that and then you transfer that into the, the treasury. That's what I could do. Uh, I'm gonna donate five hundred thousand. That's what I'm gonna do. So, what does five hundred thousand looks like? Uh, two, four. Uh, let's do 3,000. Donate a 
lot more than I wanted to, but it's okay. Any other... $450,000. How much did I send? $777,000. Eh, it's alright. I can make that back. Yes, ma'am. At your service. Good to see you, Your Majesty. Her Majesty, the Queen of Albion. Hail and well. Today you must decide how much protection to grant Aurora. Kaylin will offer her proposal. Reva will stand against her. You may speak. Your Majesty, as you know, the threat from the deserts that surrounds my city has not diminished. The darkness could fall upon us once more at any moment. Aurora is part of your kingdom now, and I ask that you grant us protection. Aurora is under our protection. It is our duty to build this outpost. The Queen's decision is final. A military outpost shall be erected in the deserts that surround Aurora. We shall not forget this gesture. Aurora thanks you. Ah, you are a whimsical monarch. And that is why you are so beloved. Very well, it shall be done. Weaver Industries is proud to present an exotic tale of romance, adventure and sand. The Desert Outpost. Bring forth Sabine of the Mist Peak Dwellers. Today you decide on the fate of Mist Peak, home of the Dwellers, Your Majesty. Sabine will speak for his people and their land. Reva will dispute his cause. You may speak. I come here seeking nothing but what was promised me and my people. You pledged to restore our home mountains and our right to do... I will keep my promise to the dwellers. The Miss Peak Mountains shall be restored. Miss Peak shall become a protected region and the dwellers shall be granted authority over its forests and resources. You are true to your word and your honor. The dwellers will stand by you to the end. Forests of Mist Peak are our greatest national treasure, and now, thanks to Reva Industries, they have returned to their past splendor. Dwellers, birds, and bunnies are free to roam, laugh, and kill each other as nature intended. Who needs all that lumber anyway? Happy anniversary, Your Majesty. One year as Queen of Albion. Doesn't time just fly? To celebrate this momentous day, I have prepared some fantastic events. First, you will stand still for several hours while a local artist paints your portrait. Then, you will choose the 47 varieties of flowers you wish to be cast at your feet as you parade through the city. Oh, and you will need to sign thousands of autographs, of course. Let's see, you will also be fit.
The day has come, Queen. It is time for you to face the darkness. But you will do so in your true form. Over the past year, you have made decisions that reveal your nature, and which have affected the lives of all your subjects. You have done what many would have thought impossible. Not only have you raised an army to protect your people, but you have accomplished this while acting as a noble, benevolent, and popular ruler. But you are more than a queen. You are a hero. You are Albion's champion, its protector. This coming battle is the reason you had to take Logan's place. Only you can defeat the creature that dwells in the shadows. If you do not, all your efforts will have been in vain. Now go. Do what you were born to do. It's here. The darkness has reached Powerstone. Reports indicate that our defenses were able to hold off the worst of the first attack. But if we don't act quickly, even the armies we prepared for this day will not be enough. We have to get out on the streets, now! Today we fight for Albion! For, for Albion! Albion. Queen. You really want to go up against the army, girl? Defend the city with your life! Good block! Nice one! He's not getting up again!
Getting close to that thing. Where are you? Show yourself. The lost sheep returns to the flock. No one ever leaves the darkness behind. Without me. If only everyone else 
You rule over a graveyard. Is that what you wanted? Why did you do this to me? It's been inside me all this time, but it's light now. I can see the sky, and it's light. <clears throat> I don't think I can fight anymore. It's all over, Walter. We won. We beat it together. Do you remember the stories I tell you when you were a child? <laughs> there was a great king once. The mightiest hero of them all. Remember what you would say. Teach me to be a hero. You've done me proud. You've always done me proud. <gasps> oh, Walter. <laughs> I think old Walter would have liked it out here. He was always a fan of looking tall and stony. I can imagine what he'd say if he was here now. Shut up, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's time I return to my own castle. If ever you need to save the world from another abomination, you know where to find me. My people shall never forget what you have done for them. We are proud to be part of Albion. I shall return to Aurora in the knowledge that we may at last enjoy peace. Farewell, Your Majesty. Walter was right about you. You're a hero in every sense of the word. The hero Albion needed. What will you do now? I will continue to serve you the best way I can. I belong down in the city. The people there will always need help. Goodbye, my queen. You have done what I thought impossible. You are the ruler I could never be. You don't need me anymore. And Albion will heal easier without me. Well, queen, old chum, ruler supreme, pal, you did it. You saved the kingdom. And it's my turn to say goodbye. I'm not cut out to be a general. Now, I think I'd like to start travelling again. Or maybe see if Paige needs any help down in Industrial. But before I go, let's send off our friend in style, shall we? This one's for you, Walter. This is the world as it could have been. Devoid of colour. Devoid of life. It is thanks to you that it isn't so. And you did it without becoming a tyrant. The people love you. And you have banished the shadow of your brother's reign. You kept your promise to Sabine and his people. When it would have been easier to turn your back on them. A noble gesture. You swore an oath to Paige to better the lives of your people. 
and you did so even in the face of great danger. You did for the Aurorans what your brother would not. He broke his promise, but you proved to be the better leader. Without the strength to make those choices, we would not be standing here now. Perhaps we shall meet again one day, Queen. Aren't you going to tell me my future? The future will reveal itself when it is ready to do so. Wow, that was a hell of a battle. Now I was gonna sit here and wait for our coin to ring up uh, and get to that key inside of our vault. I, I definitely want to see the get the key. I definitely want to go and uh, see what's in the chest in the bottom of the thing there, because that's what that key supposedly unlocks. And yeah, kind of derp around a little bit. I'm not going to take a look at the Kingdom's Foundation, um, financial stuff real quick here. I'm going to walk all the way over here. Um, if I remember correctly, I think I bought the DLC to this, so I'll have to go find out how we access that. So, yeah, that might, that could be interesting. Why is there a dead soldier down there? Why haven't they picked him up yet? Where's that drunk guy that's passed out down there? I don't know. This door is locked. Why is it locked? Oh! Okay. I'll go this way. Oh my goodness, there's not a single sun. Alrighty then, we got her. You Let's have accomplished that. something quite extraordinary. I do not think even your father could have equaled it. The kingdom teetered on the brink of annihilation. Let's take a look at our properties real quick to see how badly screwed up they are. They're all pretty much broken. So blue flags mean they're fully he fully fixed. Yellow and gold flags mean they're falling apart. These are not falling apart fully yet, so I'm not going to try to repair them yet. Yep, all of them are starting to fall apart. Whee! Anyways, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the support button. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I'm gonna go let the tre my, um, what do you wanna call it? My treasury fill up a little bit, and then we'll go check out that key. Anyways, I'll see you again soon.